Hello, Timmy. Over here. Do you want to become an entrepreneur? Good. Today we're going to talk the business of philanthropy. Philanthropy? Yes, Timmy. Venture philanthropy, or social entrepreneurship, isn't really that different from venture capital startups. Both stem from problems that people might have. Let's take a look at a couple of examples, shall we? Lizzie here can't read. I can't read! Ahmed's entire village is starving, aren't they, Ahmed? And Mohammed needs glasses. Oh, 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 Mohammed. These problems need solutions, which means there's a market we can dive into so we can take their money. Here are some ways you can do it. Say what? With a lack of education, people can't get books. Start a bookstore and charge exorbitant prices for high margins. <sighs> if I work hard for another three years, maybe I'll be able to afford another page in Reader's Digest. You also need superior forms of distribution and metrics to get your product to those who need it. Never mind what they actually need. If it looks like you care, it's good marketing. The tape runs are killing my body. Hey, little guy. Why don't you have some jeans instead? Why jeans? Levi's donated 7,000 pairs to 100 orphans. Good marketing. Have some more. Sir, I need food. More donated jeans. There you go, buddy. See? Supply chain and marketing. There's a huge market for eyewear in rural areas. Sell glasses to the people who need them. No, not you. You can't afford them. Also, our clinic is actually 200 miles away and you can't miss a single day of work or you'll starve. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not how philanthropy is supposed to work. You're making stupid mistakes that will kill any startup. Oh? And what do you know? Well, I think one of the main successes of non-profit startups is their ability to scale. Many of them easily allow anyone to help spread the product around without much starting capital. And instead of turning a profit, the point is to build social value. For instance, Room to Read has built over 10,000 libraries in places like Africa and Southeast Asia. We've helped millions of kids break the cycle of poverty through education. I just learned nuclear physics! Fifty Shades of Grey? What's a ball? Fifty Shades of... No. One Acre Fund makes it easy for farmers in East Africa to plant their own crops. With their market in a box, they get everything they need to make sure that their farm is a success. I know how a surplus that I can sell for my family and I become healthy. Vision Spring first made eyewear affordable and more accessible in Mexico by giving local entrepreneurs a business in a bag, complete with glasses, eye charts, and marketing materials, and more, so that they could get to anyone who needed glasses. Nonprofit isn't about making a profit, not fiscally anyway. It's about making a difference, giving a boy in Vietnam the chance to read. It's all about addressing problems with the right methods. What famished child in Africa needs 70 pairs of jeans? I certainly don't. It's about educating people, teaching them how to get what they need instead of you handing it to them. Keep in mind, venture philanthropy requires the same amount of quality control as any other startup. This is philanthropy done right. And when it's done right, it can have major impact. It's the Carnegie Principle. You spend the first third of your life learning everything that you can, you spend the next third of your life making all that you can, and you spend the final third of your life figuring out the best way to give it all away. Yes, I suppose you're right.